y'all steve is here and yeah we've got episode nine man of opening ultimates man super seven ultimates this one is uh disney's alice in wonderland i bought it on sale like last year i think yeah i think it was well last year on a from bbts from big bad toy store anyways we're gonna check her out man uh, i think she's pretty much in scale with what she needs to be you know a little girl or whatever and um yeah we'll uh size her up to some of our other super seven ultimates that we bought but um i've always like Alice in Wonderland when I was a kid. I don't know if I still have this book. We might have to go look. We might have to go look and see if I still have this book. But I had a book that, you know, it was like a Disney's kid book. Not like the ones I've done with, the, you know, T. Miz Reads or whatever, you know, with Overlord and stuff like that. Um, but I might have it. I don't know. We'll go look real quick, but we might not have it. Either way, we're going to check her out. And um, back of the packaging and yeah this way up that way down it's a tri it's a crazy trippy movie man alice a young daydreamer living in a mundane life her only escape comes via her otherworldly imagination with it she finds herself going down a rabbit hole and lost in the strange whimsical world of wonderland with the help of or occasional hindrance of its inhabitants alice must find her way back home before she loses her head i don't know it's a trippy movie man i don't know it's it's crazy it's it's like an acid trip. i think i have that book anymore i think i lost it years ago or we just got rid of it or somewhere i don't know it, it's it doesn't exist anymore but hey that's a job for ebay to find it probably could find it on ebay i've been known to find all kinds of things anyways we're gonna shut up we're gonna open this figure another thing figure uh about the packaging there's the cheshire cat's grin that's kind of funny that's cool man that is cool. Looks in here she is and everything she comes with. She comes with a little miniature Alice from when she shrinks, when she drinks a little bottle or whatever. She gets real tiny. Or she eats, I forget she eats something. Maybe she eats something. Yeah, she eats one of the little treats in the on, in the little box or whatever, man. Yeah, she gets real tiny. She gets real small. So that's freaking hilarious. It's awesome. And then um, here's her little cat. That's cool. And she's got comes with two different uh, head portraits. There's one where she's kind of like, uh. there's another one where she's kind of like, uh. they're both like, eh, eh. but like she's uh, one's got her. Well, I don't know. Maybe she's not, eh, but she's more like eh, on this one. But yeah, her uh, mouth's open uh, or, or a gape or whatever. And then she's got the little weird mosquito glasses or whatever. I remember, I kind of remember these when I was a kid in the story and stuff. In the movie. I haven't watched the movie in a while. I was watching it a while back and I felt bad for those little oysters, man. Little clams or whatever. I felt really bad for the here's the drink me thing. Little drink me vial. And I always think of that was it Jefferson Airplane, the the Go Ask Alice when she's ten feet tall or whatever. That that uh that that song, that psychedelic pop rock song. And here she, where you can have her hold the vial. Another grippy hand. And these are on a hinge, a really tiny hinge. I just lost that in the abyss. But yeah, really tiny hinge with a tiny peg. That's really tiny, man. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And here's Alice herself. Let's see, she can twist her neck. She can nod a little bit. Her arms go out. They can swivel all about. And then she's got an elbow and a swivel at the elbow. So that's cool. Oops, sorry, swivel at the elbow and a hinge and a swivel on the hand, so that's cool. She's got the dainty little girl hands, so there you go. Um, she's got an upper torso twist and a waist twist, and she's got her, you know, her little dress on, man. There's a little bow in the back that's uh, glued in or pegged in, and then she's got her bloomers and all that stuff, man, her leggings and the little frilly under underdress or whatever, so it's all like kind of Victorian style in a way, her dress. And she's got her little her little loafers, her little shoes, and yeah, man, there you go, man. She's got her knickers and loafers and all that. So yeah, you got a knee. She's got a knee, but it goes more forward than it goes backwards, and it swivels. And she can karate kick, so that's cool. And you got holes for pegs for stance, so that's good too. And yeah, man, it seems like you can get some decent poses out of her. Let's let's try to get a pose real quick before we. You know, any other you can get her in a decent action pose, man. Her feet, they she got the rocker pivot swivel on her feet, so yeah, man, you can get her in a good pose, man. That's freaking cool. Look, a good action pose. That's awesome, man. It's not a bad little figure, dude. I don't know. I don't know if you like Disney or whatever. If whoever's watching, if you're 
whatever. I don't know. I like old school Disney. I like old school white honky Disney. I like old school racist Disney. That's that's what I like is old school Disney, man. New woke Disney just sucks some ass. It's not any good and I don't care for it. And it's just all inclusive and stupid and lame and I don't really care. You know, I like Disney when, when you know, air quotes, white people rule the world. That's the Disney I like. That's the Disney I grew up with. And I'm not offended by it being a, a dark skinned man. I don't I'm not offended by it. I don't think it's whatever. I don't think it's racist or anything. I, I think it's cool. But new Disney just sucks balls. And they've ruined so many things. Like Star Wars for me. And they've ruined a lot of shit. And they just, they're, I don't know, Marvel and stuff like that. Some Marvel stuff I like from Disney. Some I don't. Some's been pretty cool, you know. Like, I don't know. It's it's, it's up and down. But, but for the most part, a lot of it sucks. A lot of it's pretty just shitty. And, um, I don't know, they, they could do it a really, I think Disney could really do things in a good way that would be all inclusive and be like pro-feminist and stuff like that in a good way, in a good way. But I would think they just have dumbass people working on stuff and that lack creative, any, any kind of creativity and they don't read fucking comic books. So yeah, there you go. Or haven't watched the original trilogy of Star Wars. There you go. Anyways, we're done with that. But yeah, we'll get her, um, I guess, uh, kind of uh, fitted with some other head portraits and other accessories. And maybe uh, size her up with some other ultimates. So we can be done with this. All right. Here we have her outfitted with her crazy glasses. The little mosquito glasses. It's kind of funny. That's uh, now funny. for just the fun and the scale out of all, we have the Silverhawks buzzsaw next to Alice from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> And um, and our Slayer man, the Minotaur guy, or whatever you want to call him. Well, the black version now that they're coming out with that you can pre-order is like more like the Baphomet, but uh, well, minus the titties. But uh, yeah, but you got the Minotaur Slayer guy, so that should, that's a pretty freaking funny scaling. And then we have we can just throw him in here too as a uh, Cliff Burton hanging out right here, you know. So yeah, she's she's in uh, she's amongst a crazy crowd right now <laughs> as far as Super Seven Ultimates go, but. I like Super 7 Ultimates. I think I think they're good and I think they're bad and I think they're good. It's like they're they're not the most perfect thing, but they're not the most horrible thing and I like the scales of some of the figures so far, man. Like Buzzsaw, he's like a larger than life like intergalactic robot like criminal guy, which is cool. Then you got Cliff Burton, which is like normal, you know, headbanger guy got Alice it's a small little girl so that makes sense that she's in that scale and then you got the Minotaur man you know from Slayer Slayer man so that that's freaking hilarious so it's just I don't know if if you would have grabbed like T-Biz when he was in about eighth grade and been like throwing me these three action figures I would have been like holy shit I, I would my mind would have been fucking blown I'm not gonna lie it would have been blown because I was a big fan of Metallica by sixth grade you know, and by seventh or eighth grade, I already listened to Kill 'Em All and stuff like that, so I knew who Cliff Burton was. And by the eighth grade, I knew who Slayer was, and I've listened to Show No Mercy, so I already knew about that. So all this together would have blown my freaking mind. It would have been like, oh my god, really? All these action figures? That's ridiculous! And they're all hanging out there. It's like it's it's nuts. Because for me, all the Super Seven Ultimates kind of exist in their own universe. That that's my little made up thing. That's my little made up rule, is that hey, they can all exist in their universe together and hang out and stuff like that, man. Anyways, um, I'm done with this uh, review. Uh, whether you like it or not, it's cool or not cool. And um, yeah, once again, thanks for tuning in. Whether you're new or old or whoever, or if it's uh, my buddy Evil Tony, aka Evil Bill. Thanks for watching, buddy. Uh, I love you, man. Anyways, and uh, yeah, hashtag no homo. But anyways, yeah, y'all keep watching if you want. And if not, who cares? Because uh, there's other dudes out there spending like over 200 bucks for a, an extendar. And you can go watch that guy because, you know, he's got great content. Anyways, once again, <laughs> thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. All right, later. Bye.